Okay, one, two, three, and four. They all came in today's mail. I guess that just uh, leads us to one conclusion. I buy way too much music. one and all and welcome to Tom's Hit Parade. Uh, it's just a quick little last minute video I decided to throw together here. Uh, as you saw in the thumbnail picture and in the cold open there, yes I've got, this is today's mail. Yes, this all came today. Four things that I ordered uh, by mail and uh, they were supposed to be spread out, their arrival times were supposed to be spread out through the first half of this week, but somehow for some reason they all came today. Yes, that's probably the most packages, the most number of packages I've ever gotten at once. Uh, and just so you know, uh, no, I do not normally have this many things on order and, you know, out there in the ether coming my way all at once. This is kind of an unusual thing. I've been buying, okay, probably more than I should be buying uh, lately, but, you know, it's just kind of, you know, nobody was there to stop me, basically. Uh, so, yes, and I decided since they all came today, and this is kind of, as I said, a historic thing where I have never gotten this many packages, orders uh, arrived in the same day before, I thought, why not, why not make a video out of it, right? I just uh, add, give a little more content to my, my faithful viewers out there. So, yes, these are things that I bought from a variety of sources here. And uh, let's, let's just go ahead and do the, uh, the records first. I got two records. Now this first one here is actually from a local friend. Uh, it's just, you know, the easiest way was to have him send it in the mail. Uh, he used to work at Skips, the record store out in uh, West Eugene that closed up back in 2019. And since it closed up, he has kind of started up his own record business. It's not a brick and mortar store, at least not yet. Uh, I don't know if he's actually got ambitions to make it a brick and mortar store. If so, I'm sure he's waiting until things are back to semi-normal from COVID. Uh, but for now, he has a Discog store, and he is selling records uh, through Facebook and word of mouth, as well as at the little uh, outdoor Saturday market that they have in the Eugene area. He get, or usually rents a booth there and sells them that way. So, uh, yes, visit his Discog store at some point. I'll give the link to you guys in the description. Uh, he did, may not be the lowest price seller out there, but he is very honest. He's a nice guy. He always is truthful about the condition of his records. And, uh, you know, he's a small startup guy and is trying to still get his business, you know, uh, some momentum and get it off the ground. So for that, I'm willing to spend a little bit more money. Uh, he's not uh, out of line with his prices. The prices are perfectly in, you know, in market with what he's selling and the condition he sells it in. So, but yeah, uh, go check out his store. He's, a, he's a, like I said, a nice guy, honest seller, and uh, he, he'll, he'll do you good. Tell him Uncle Tom sent you. Anyway. Here we have a record, and obviously I know what all these things are since I ordered them. And this one is Dare to be Stupid by Weird Al Yankovic. Yes, it is an unplayed original demo copy. So it's a must it should be in very, very excellent condition. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it out of its sleeve. I'm kinda of surprised he didn't have the sleeve separately on the back of the record. So yeah, a little bit of uh seam split on the seat on the sleeve, but uh Yes, it's in excellent condition. It definitely looks unplayed. So, yeah. Weird Al Yankovic, Dare to be Stupid. Uh, my favorite Weird Al Yankovic album, in case uh, those of you out there didn't know. Uh, nice to have it on vinyl. I actually don't think I have ever owned it on vinyl before. Uh, I think the first copy I owned was actually on cassette. And eventually I got it on CD. But now I have vinyl. So yes, this is the fourth Weird Al album I own on vinyl. So. so yes, that is excellent. That is in excellent condition. Yay. And now these next two purchases are actually from Discogs. I ordered them off of Discogs. And uh, this one, I actually found this artist's uh, other album. I can't remember if it's his previous album or his next album after this one. Uh, at House of Records just a couple weeks ago, and so I decided to pick it up, and that is what made me search for it on Discogs to see if it was available. And actually, several months ago, I um, actually found 
his live album at House of Records. And that, that's kind of what spurred it on, I guess, with me finally picking these up on vinyl. I actually have this one and the other one that I just recently found at House of Records. I did own them on uh, CD, but I decided to, as I've been doing a lot of lately, is, you know, trading up to the vinyl editions. And so let's go ahead and check this one out to make sure it is in good condition. Oh, that's right, he did say it was gonna be still sealed. So yes, it is still sealed, never been opened. Ariel by Jerry Goodman. He is a violinist who I believe he has been in some uh, rock groups, has performed in some rock groups, either as a session musician or as a touring member. I can't remember, I would have to look it up on Wikipedia. I didn't have my notes ahead of time. But yes, Jerry Goodman, this is Ariel. Uh, the other album I cannot remember the name of off the top of my head, so yeah, that's where I'm filming this video at night, which I normally don't do, so I was I was kind of unprepared, didn't have my notes handy, but hey, Ariel by Jerry Goodman. Uh, it's another one that I've been looking for for quite a while, and yeah, still sealed. I'd forgotten, actually, that this was still sealed. And now let's go ahead on to the CDs. This is my other Discogs purchase right here. This is two CDs from an artist that I have... Uh, I had his Greatest Hits album for quite a while, and I decided to just go ahead and start getting not all of his albums, but some of his studio albums, the ones that had the more memorable songs on them. And yes, here we go. And yes, these were still sealed as well, I believe. They're both promo copies, anyway. Uh, John Cougar Mellencamp, Scarecrow, and American Fool, his uh, two of his uh, 80s albums. And these are the... Uh, remastered editions with bonus tracks on them. I actually just the other day got uh, the other album in uh, within near, near this one called Uh-huh. That was one of the other albums from the 80s that he was very famous for. So, yeah. It's supposed to be an excellent Oh yeah, spotless on that one. And this one, oh yeah, this one is still unsealed is unsealed, but it's still got the uh, sticker on the top. So it should be Yep, yeah, they're both in absolutely flawless condition. Yay. Yay, scratchless CDs. And then the final lot here. This is, now this I got off of eBay, and this is a seller that I've, uh, this is the third lot that I've bought from him. Uh, this is the same guy that I got the discographies, complete or near complete discographies of the Foo Fighters. That was my first purchase from him. And then uh, Jamiroquai. I got the pretty much full discographies from both of those artists. Uh, it was the Foo Fighters lot actually had um, second copies of a couple of the albums, as well as two of their concert DVDs and a CD single. And the D Jamiroquai lot also had a CD single with it. So, uh, but this, and they were packaged. This guy knows how to package his stuff. Uh, must have taken lessons from me. <laughs> Uh, yes, lots of bubble wrap, as you can see, very, very cushioned. And the CDs have, that he sold me so far have been in excellent condition. Yes, let's go ahead and pop this one out. Oh, just what I always wanted, a cube of bubble wrap. Uh, no, there are CDs in here. And it is, let me see if I can get this out without wasting too much footage. I'll probably fast forward through this. I'm just going to tear this stuff off. I would normally be very, very make a concerted attempt to save the bubble wrap. The one time that I wish he didn't wrap his stuff so securely. I'm finally getting to the point where I can actually show you what I bought. It is a set of nine Aerosmith CDs. Yes, I've decided, and this is another artist that I'd had his, their uh, greatest hits for quite a while, and I just decided, dang it, I'm going to go ahead and start the uh, getting some of their CD. I'm not going to get their entire run of studio, studio albums, but there's enough good songs on the albums that I've heard parts of that I decided to go ahead and uh, collect a fair bit of, and it's like, if I can, can get these all in one chunk, why not order them, right? Uh, very good price, too. I can't remember what the price was off the top of my head, but uh, yes, there are two Greatest Hits CDs in this batch, so I will get rid of those, but uh, yes, keep the studio albums, so... Yes, as if I needed to order more CDs or records, I got some anyway, yes. But there are, there are some that I have been wanting for quite a while and am happy to add, add to my collection. Uh, hopefully, I, I pretty much trust the guy that sent me the Aerosmith CDs. He's good about uh, stating the condition of the CDs. He said one or two were in 
uh, VG plus condition, so might might have a few scratches on them, small scratches probably. So uh, yeah, but I've, I've, I'm confident that those will be in good shape too. So, well, how do you like that little veritable cornucopia of newly arrived CDs and records to my collection? As if I needed to order more, right? But well, hey, like I said, there was, these some of these were such good deals. I just had to uh, pick them up. And uh, yeah, I couldn't help myself. What can I say? But anyway, uh, that'll do it for this quick little spontaneous spur of the moment video uh, unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And give me your thoughts, questions, suggestions, or constructive criticisms in the comment section below. Also, scroll down to the description for the links to my Twitter and Instagram feeds and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and browse my past videos. And be sure to ring that notifications bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember, life's too short to be a music snob.